Wild lynx. I suppose that's flattery coming from you southerners to kneel to a pig if your daddy did. We call ourselves the Free Folk. Or at least, most of us won't kill you for calling us so. Some will, aye. But that's just the way of it in the true north. Beyond your great white wall, where your laws and kingdoms end, and men live free. And die cold. For we live close to our land, and she's a terrible wife. Fail to obey her, and she kills you. On the frozen shore, so deep is the snow that men ride chariots made of walrus bones pulled by packs of dogs. The Hornfords have it easier in the mountains. The cold so hardens and blackens the soles of their feet that they don't even need boots. The cave people spend their lives in the dark, doing gods know what with gods know who or what. The Thens have one of the only nice bits of land up here. A valley in the far north, near the end of the frost fangs, with game, copper, and tin for shiny bronze weapons. Better than the rusted old blades most of us have. With such advantages, they could be a generous, friendly race. They're not. As young boys, they burn their faces and rub ash and dirt into their wounds. Scars more than their face, I think. They follow their Magnar, who's the kind of man who can rule these kinds of men. I know what you southerners are thinking, and no, the Magnar is not a king, more like their god, though not one you'd care to follow if you don't sleep with your eyes open. And then there are the giants, a proud race as old as the frost fangs and about as tough. They speak the old tongue, when they speak at all, though they understand more common than they let on. They're not the monsters you southerners think. Once I was caught in a winter storm so cold, I knew it freeze to death before it broke. Lucky for me, I stumbled on a sleeping giant, cut open her belly, and crawled right up inside her. Kept me warm enough, but the stink nearly done me. The worst thing was, when she woke up, she took me for her babe. Suckled me for three whole moons before I could get away. Hehe. <laughs> Aye, but there's times I still miss the taste of giant's milk. I thank the gods she was in a good mood and lacked a husband. An angry giant, you want no part of that. Whatever our differences, one thing unites us. When we look south, we see hundreds of feet of ice piled high. Manned by shivering crows in black cloaks. Our wardens penning us up here. Warning us away from warmer lands, softer beds and prettier girls. But the cold winds are rising. The Hornfords couldn't stand against them. Nor the Thens, nor the Giants. First they kill you. Then they send your dead against you. We faced extinction. Every one of us. But then man's raider came to us and rallied every nation of the free folk as no man ever has. He was a crow once and knows your ways. For thousands of years we've sucked fear of your kind from our mother's teeth. We've been on one side of the wall and you on the other. No more. One of these nights you're going to hear a knock on your front door. You best not answer.